Chris Taylor. I'm a student here at BYU Hawaii. I'm from Colorado and I have depression. Tawafa, my name is Loma Siren Cosby. Um, I'm from Samoa and I have depression. G'day, my name is Mark Gardner and in 2011 I was diagnosed with depression. My name is Zach. Um, I'm right now living in England. I also have depression. made my life really dark at times where I felt this need for attention but also I just wanted for whatever reason to be alone. Uh, even when I was surrounded by some of the most loving people in, my, in the world, my family, I would still get incredibly sad and incredibly dark and just where I would just feel dark and I would feel absolutely alone and I would feel like no one could understand the emotions that I was going through. It's really hard when you grow up in a culture where not be able to speak out. Um, and if you try to, um, your friends or your families will label that as lazy or you can't do it on your own problem. Coming home from the mission because I felt like I had lost purpose or meaning. I felt like I had to act or be somebody else when I was socializing or at church or at school sometimes. And then I had to, you know, force myself to smile and pretend like everything was okay. Uh, but I wasn't really showing how I was really feeling. I was going from one thing to the next just to try to make myself happy. Depression is a really hard thing. Depression is very self-centered. It makes you just focus on yourself. It makes you think about all the hard things that have gone on in your life. You just feel bleak and hopeless and you feel horrible and your self-esteem just goes down. The depression or the unhappiness started to come back. It was really confusing. I wasn't happy. I'd lost all the weight and got rid of all the things in my life that I thought were making me unhappy and yet I was still in that sad cycle. I still struggle with it today. Um, I have days when I can't get out of bed or I don't want to get out of bed where I hated seeing people where I just didn't want to be around anyone. And I was always tired and I was always grumpy. And just feeling numb was the hardest thing I decided that I would fight this and it's because I know that life is more important and that there is a hope in the world to face it. Depression was when I was going into the office, the counseling office, and one of the, one of, um, one of the people I knew that was from the same culture as I am um, joked about you know me being weak to go see a counselor. And at first I was mad, and then I didn't want to go and see the counselor. But then I realized that I wasn't being weak; that I was um, actually doing something with my life because my life did come to a stop for a while the people, especially my Polynesian people, to step up and share their feelings that we're not weak and we can't be weak and strong at the same time and that our emotions and our stories can help others progress in their lives because sometimes when we get depressed we just, we just stop doing things that we love to do and um, we stop our progression from, and we just stop ourselves from doing everything and just limit ourselves. And I know that it wasn't just that, but it was also the support and you know, the wonderful people here at um, Brigham Young University Hawaii that helped me through. I'm also grateful for my Heavenly Father because um, I know that this is one of my challenges and I know that I had this challenge so I can show my other brothers and sisters, not just my Polynesian brothers and sisters, but especially for them that being depressed is real and that it's something that we need to talk about even though if it's culturally not accepted. But I know that um, by coming out and speaking about it can really change our lives and the lives of others around us. And, um, if you don't have the courage, talk to a friend and you'll find out that they do have their struggles with depression. And you can even talk to me. <laughs>
for the support of my family and my loving mum and dad and, uh, and Nemia who was also a great uh, important person in my life who I considered to be a brother. I decided to go and see a psychologist and it was after I met with a psychologist that, that she deemed that I had depression and it was something that I was going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. She helped me reflect on the past experiences that I've just shared and helped me to understand that I was on a pursuit of happiness, that I was jumping from one thing to the next just to make myself happy and I wasn't really facing reality and taking control of what was in the here and now and just looking for an easy fix or something just to take me out of reality or take me away from this or just to get me to another happy state. I consider myself successful now. I feel like that depression is a part of my life. I'm now studying a degree in social work so that I can go out and help other people. I have successfully served a mission. I have successfully lost a lot of weight and I'm living a happy life that a lot of people think, wow, this guy he lives in Hawaii, he's doing all these fun things, and I am happy. And that's the number one thing that has helped me, is having a purpose in life. On my mission I had a purpose, preach the gospel, bring others unto Jesus Christ. And I also have a purpose here at BYU Hawaii, to get my schooling done, to work, and to serve those that are around me. Above all, what has helped me is faith in Jesus Christ, knowing that He is real, that He has suffered the same things I'm feeling, has been a great peace for me. And talking, talking about my emotions, just actually letting it out and talking to people about what I felt and how it has inflected, affected me in my life. So you may be alone, you may feel alone, you may feel like you don't want to share what you're talking about, but I promise you that you aren't alone. I promise you that there are others who feel just the same as you do. I encourage you to go out and find them and to help them, to help them to feel like they are loved, to help them feel that they are alone. And you too will then feel not alone, and you will feel loved, and you will feel like you are fighting against the oppression. I'm grateful that I struggled with it. It's made me a better person, more humble. It's not a bad thing if you feel depressed. Depression is probably one of the most common disorders or struggles or uh, challenges that people have worldwide, not only within the United States, but through, throughout the world. Our staff here is very experienced in working with uh, issues surrounding de depression. If anything, I'd want people to know, one, that it's very treatable. It's overcomable, if you will. Uh, and second, we invite you, as a student, to come in. Uh, help, let us help make uh, your days better, make your efforts here at BYU Hawaii more successful and more doable with less depression, less anxiety. And we, we want to help. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. Cause you light up the path.